This is from Warren Sharp. Sharp Football tweeting this out. Air yards for all 2023 um, passes. So the Browns were number one in air yards, uh, 5299. Texans 5177. Bills uh, 5022. Um, it's kind of interesting because you, you have Ken Dorsey coming in, and, and the Bills yeah. were at 5022. Um, the Browns. Uh, what I would say is they need more yards after the catch. That's, I think the air yards, I'd take more uh, yak rather than air yards. Give me some easy yards. Yeah, that blew my mind to see they were first on that yeah. list because if you really think back, until Flacco got there, I felt we were very much dink and dunk. Now, Watson would take occasional shots, but that's just not him. That's every quarterback in the league. There's been such a philosophical shift to playing too high over the top and keeping everything underneath. You know, so you don't see a regular shots like you used to in the league. But then when Flacco got here, it was just huck it, chuck it. And all of a sudden that elevates where you're at. So you're like, well, what does that mean for this season? Since Flacco's not here, probably not much. But to your point, all this, number three on that list is Buffalo and, and Dorsey coming in. And I think you have the personnel now. you got a couple burners between Judy and Moore, even Jamari Thrash. You, you think that you might be able to take the top off some defenses and, and let it rip. But uh, I'm with you. I just – is get the ball to playmakers in space and let them make plays. And I think you have the guys in place to do that. Yeah, the, the thing that I kind of chuckled at was one of the national guys described it as touchdown to check down, which, uh, all right, I'm, I'm in. I'm all in.